All right, Algebra 2, this is uh, just to get you started on your review day three. Um, it, it's really going to be very helpful for you to draw a picture for these. Um, a lot of us are more visual and hands-on, and it just it really helps you make sense of the situation if you have a picture. So that's where I'm going to start. I'm going to get you started um, with some pictures. I'm not going to do all of these. I'm not going to work all the way through either. It's just to kind of get you started. So you hit a golf ball off the ground. The ball followed a parabolic path and it reached a maximum height of four feet. It, 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 it hits, oops, that doesn't say hits. It should say hits. It hits the ground after 10 total seconds. What is the equation of the parabolic path the ball traveled through? So as we're reading this, it looks like height is important and time, seconds, is going to be important. So <clears throat> as time passes, it's going to de determine what height the ball is. So the input would be x, the output would be y, and I've labeled the variables. Uh, now, I'm going to zoom in enough so I can read it. Um, I'm probably going to draw maybe bigger than I should if I was going to solve it um, because I'm not going to go through and solve this for you. I'm just going to help you draw the pictures. So this ball is going to start on the ground at time zero. And it hits the ground after 10 total seconds. So he, over here at 10 seconds, it's going to be on the ground again. So what we have here are x-intercepts. And then it follows a parabolic path. Uh, that might not have been. That might be too circular. But uh, it's close enough. Um, so it follows a parabolic path. It says that it reaches a maximum height of four feet. So the maximum height is going to be four. Now, I don't know the y or the x value here, but you should be able to find it out knowing that the maximum height has to do with our vertex. So there's your first picture. The second picture, a model rocket launches from the ground and reaches a maximum height of 150 feet, five seconds after the launch. And then you are going to go and write the equation of the height of the rocket as a function of the time in seconds. So that's what I talked about in class. Um, last time, a function of is like saying F of. That means our time in seconds is the X. So the height of the rocket is the Y. Uh, the rocket starts on the ground. So I'm going to make this time zero. And I don't know when it hits the ground again, but I know it goes all the way up and comes all the way down again. What I know is the maximum height that this rocket reaches is 150, oops, 150 feet after five seconds. So five is the time. And 150 feet would be the um, height. So that's to get you started. We have to write the equation with the given information. Number three, a football kicker kicks the ball off the ground, and five seconds later, the ball lands on the ground again. Okay, we've got another one that's starting on the ground, kicks off the ground, lands on the ground again. This says five seconds later. So that's got to be five. I'm going to make this time zero. If the ball was 54 feet up the up in the air after one second, what is the function of the ball's height over time in seconds? So again, we're writing the equation. That's your goal, writing the equation. Write the function, it says. Um, <clears throat> let's see, time is usually the X because the time is going to determine the height of the football. At time zero, the height is zero. At time five, the height is zero. Um, but at time one, 
they tell me it's 54 feet. Now, one is definitely not in the exact middle of one and five, of, sorry, zero and five. So that cannot be the vertex. That's got to be some given point somewhere on the graph. Number four, a disgruntled student tossed their Chromebook off the bridge into the river below. The railing of the bridge is 33 feet above the ground. Okay, I got a bridge. There's my railing. All right, that's going to be 33 feet off the ground. The Chromebook is tossed to its maximum height of 40 feet one second after its throw. So this student is tossing it higher to a maximum of one second, 40 feet high. And then it says, um, write the equation of the parabolic path the Chromebook fell to its watery death. So when it hits the water down there, when it hits the water, that would be like an x-intercept. Did I miss any information? Oh, the time to start. That was a terrible line. Let me fix that. The time to start would be time zero. This would be one second. It reaches its maximum at 40. So now from that information, you should be able to find the x-intercept, the other one. So let's see, I've, I haven't done all of the pictures. I want you to try something on your own. Um, the one thing that I would say pay attention to would be determine which form you should use by the information given. So like on this first one, you're sort of given the vertex. I'm not telling you how to find this. You need to think for your own, but you should be able to find that. Uh, you're also given x-intercepts. So at this point, you could use intercept form or you could use vertex form. You have to determine which form you should use, plug in those ordered pairs, solve for A, and then write the equation leaving X and Y as variables. So this is what we did for section two, four. It's just, um, they're not giving you pictures um, to start. You just have to read and figure it out. All right, remember you can contact me if you have any questions. Have fun with the word problems.